Dragon Age, the Veil Guard game director, a man who claims to be a woman who has also referred to himself as a queer sexual gender mancer and uses the name Corrine Bush, has confirmed that all the companion characters in the game are so-called pansexual. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com. And this is what Bush had to say in an interview with IGN. He said their past experiences are partners. They'll reference them. They'll reference them and indeed who they'll become romantic with. Obviously referring to the seven companions that are featured in the game. He then shared this. For instance, we saw Harding. I might be playing a straight male character flirting with her, but I choose not to pursue a romance. She might get together with Tosh. So my perception, my identity has no bearing on their identities. And that comes through really strongly. So they are forcing gay agenda, gay propaganda on you in the game. Your choices do not matter when it comes to how the characters will, who the characters will have sex with in the game. It's absolutely sick. It's absolutely disgusting. It is indeed evil. Bush did confirm this, though. It's not until the later parts of the game where you really commit to romance and it gets pretty spicy. He, he did confirm that uh, you can start flirting with the characters uh, early on in the game. He also confirmed that the game features pornography, uh, specifically sex scenes. He said, of course, we are, in, uh, we are an M-rated game. We do have nudity. He elaborated our companions. We want them to be relatable and fully realized so they can get spicy, but in a way that I think people will actually relate to. Some of them are more spicy than others, just like real life. Our companions have such diverse personalities. Some of them are more physical, more aggressive, and some of them are more, we have a gentleman necromancer, for instance, that is more intimate and sensual. This game is going to be absolutely degenerate and disgusting. You kind of already knew this just based on the character designs and what they look like when they released that video. You knew this was coming. You, well, we also knew this in 2022 when this guy was claiming that he was injecting the his uh, queer agenda into the game by claiming that that he thought Dragon Age was always uh, inherently very queer. And he was steering it in that direction. It's on Bioware's website. This is what he said right here. As a queer trans woman, I have a perspective on the games that not everyone has. Dragon Age has long been a place where LGBTQIA plus folks can see people like themselves represented respectfully. It's inherent. Th there's nothing respectful about showing these people commit degenerate, disordered acts. If you actually wanted to show them respectful, they would be committing to chaste lifestyles. That's what you would see. That would be actually respecting them. Nevertheless, he goes on and says, it's inherently very queer and it's such a rare thing for marginalized communities to have representation where we feel proud and powerful in how we are depicted. There, it's all about power. It's all about power and, and proud, sin and power. Yet they don't have any power. Christ conquered death, defeated Satan, and he reigns in heaven. Bush goes on and says, it's so deeply meaningful for so many I often get emotional when I think about what it would have meant for a younger version of myself to see someone like her in a game and as a hero, no less. I hope we can be a safe place for queer players to know they are not alone, that they are brilliant and worthy, that they are not only welcome, but celebrated. Again, wants to celebrate these degenerate, sinful lifestyles and actions. So probably going to piss a lot of people off here, but... Let's get into this because this is the truth and I call for people to always speak the truth. This game is clearly attempting to indoctrinate players into these disordered sexual lifestyles. We hear from the game director multiple occasions here. And as I said, it's regardless of the choices a player makes in the game. The, cat the catechism of the Catholic Church is clear on this. It says this, basing itself on sacred scripture which presents homosexual acts as acts of grave depravity. Tradition has always declared that homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered. They are contrary to the natural law. They close the sexual act to the gift of life. They do not proceed from a genuine effective and sexual complementarity. Under no circumstances can they be approved. Yet that is exactly what Bioware and Bush is doing here. 
They are approving this stuff. They are trying to celebrate it. No, they cannot be approved. It also appears that the game is promoting transgender ideology. I definitely think that Kunari is uh, gender confused for sure and is a stand-in for the uh, game director. That's my opinion. Archbishop Sample of the Diocese of Portland details how this ideology comes from Satan. He said this in an interview with Catholic Answers where he recalled a conversation he had with Pope Francis. He said, this is a direct assault on God himself. It's the ultimate rejection of God, that we don't need God. We don't need to accept God. We don't need to accept our individuality. We don't need to accept how God has made us. We just cast God aside and I will define myself. Archbishop Sample later added, he said, this ideology that's in the culture today, now he's obviously referring to transgender ideology, that there's no such thing as a binary gender. There's multiple genders that we can define. Nobody's one or the other. We're just in this gender fluidity. So that young people growing up are indoctrinated into this ideology. And this is what Pope Francis goes off after. It's a terrible thing. What's happening? It's, it is. It's truly terrible. It's truly terrible. Because these people are being harmed. Children are being harmed. Emotionally, spiritually. And in the worst cases, physically, they're being convinced to butcher themselves. It's evil. This is evil stuff. And they use games like Dragon Age to try and normalize this stuff and get other people to do it. And I'm here to say no. I'm here to say no. Pope Francis also declared this in March. He said, today, the worst danger is gender ideology, which erases differences. I ask for studies to be made on this ugly ideology of our time, which erases differences and makes everything the same. To erase difference is to erase hum- humanity, man and woman. On the other hand, stand in fruitful tension. Man and woman, excuse me, man and woman, on the other hand, stand in fruitful tension. They do. He elaborated in the in uh, prepared remarks, saying in today's cultural context, at times this reality tends to be forgotten or obscured with the risk of reducing the human being to his or her material needs or primary requirements alone, as if he or she were an object without conscious or will, simply swept along by life as part of a mechanical gear. Instead, man and woman are created by God and are the image of the creator. That is, they carry within themselves a desire for eternity and happiness that God himself has sown in their hearts, and which they are called to realize through a specific vocation. Therefore, a healthy inner tension dwells within us, which we must never stifle. We are called to happiness, to the fullness of life, to something great to which God has destined us. The life of each one of us, no one excluded, is not incidental. Our being in the world is not merely the fruit of chance, but rather we are part of a plan of love and are invited to come out of ourselves and fulfill it for ourselves and for others. We also have uh, the Catechism teaching on fornication and pornography. Church, the, the catechism is clear on these issues. First, it says here, the political community has a duty to honor the family, to assist it, and to ensure especially uh, the protection of security and health, especially with respect to dangers like drugs, pornography, alcoholism, etc. That's right. Pornography should be banned. I'm 100% for banning pornography. The catechism goes on to explain why these activities are wrong. For fornication, it says it it is gravely contrary to the dignity of persons and human sexuality, which is naturally ordered to the good of spouses and the generation and education of children. Moreover, it is a grave scandal when there is corruption of the young, which is indeed what Bioware is doing. It is a grave scandal. This is an absolutely scandalous thing that Bioware and Bush and all the employees at Bioware that are participating in this are, are engaging in. As for pornography, the catechism says this. It offends against chastity because it perverts the conjugal act, the intimate giving of spouses to each other. It does grave injury to the dignity of its participants, actors, vendors, the public, since each one becomes an object of base pleasure and illicit profit for others. It immerses all who are involved in the illusion of a fantasy world. It is a grave offense. Civil authorities should prevent the production and distribution of pornographic materials. I 100% agree. I think this game should be banned. I will not be purchasing it. I encourage others not to purchase it. Purchase it. It is clearly trying to push evil. And it shouldn't be a hard decision, right? 
obviously they're putting all of this degenerate stuff in here, the pansexual characters, all that other stuff. And if you actually watch the gameplay trailer, which I did, it just looked generic. It looked like a generic hack and slash action game in a generic fantasy world. There was nothing that really stood out. It didn't even look like any of the previous Dragon Age games. Specifically, did not really look like Dragon Age Origins whatsoever. So it should be an easy call to not purchase this game. It's easy for me. I definitely won't be purchasing it. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other. See the image of God and likeness of God in each other. But remember, we must always speak the truth.